Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I almost dropped it. All right, guys. So today we are at a place called Market Basket. Someone in the comments a while ago said, hey, you got to try the pizza. You got to try the prepared food at Market Basket. I was like, what? Actually, you know what? We can't go in there like this. Let's, let's try this out. What are we thinking? Pink? No pink? What are we doing? We're doing clear? No? All right. How about blue? Oh, yeah. I'm liking this blue right here. I'm liking it a lot. So there it is, fam. Market Basket. There's a bunch of them that opened up in Rhode Island. There's one in Warwick that's like completely packed all the time. Supposedly it's good food at low prices, kind of uh, a la uh, TJ's, Trader Joe's. So, so I need to do some shopping. So we're going to go in here. We're going to get some stuff for La Casa, Casa the Roadie. And then also we're going to get some food, do a quick mukbang. Let's get into this video. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. I guess that's considered new age beverage. <laughs> Let's get some pickles from La Casita. This stuff is so good right here. Yeah. I love egg salad, baby. Oh my god, what I just went through <laughs> at Market Bass. Sometimes in life, guys, you just have to laugh it off. That's why you always see me laughing, laughing things off. Man, Market Basket is an experience. If you if you're a regular shopper at Market Basket, man oh man, good for you. I did find some really good deals though. As you guys saw in the thing, I mean, look at this. First of all, I got these lobster salad Fringle rolls, $8.99. Look at that. That's basically one lobster roll. So one lobster roll for $8.99 all day, son. Look at this. All day. You put those two together, that's a lobster rolly. Also, look at this. Spicy shrimp roll with the, spe with the spicy mayo. Got the avocado. Look at that. $6.79. Look at this. Look at that. Got the nine rolls, son! And then, first of all, their, their slices of pizza are essentially one quarter of the whole thing. So what is this? I don't even know what this one is. Fresh one topping slice, $2.99. What do we have here? Oh, oh, and they cut it in half for you. So look at that, dude. Look at that. What? So that's the, that's the I think that's the meatball. And then this is $2.99, fresh one slice. Oh, they don't like break it down for you. Oh yeah, classic. Look at that. Classic! $2.99, so that's basically a $1.50. $1.50 for a slice of pie. Market Basket, I think you're flirting with me. I think Market Basket went, hey. Hey, big fella. Get over here. All right, Roadie fam. You guys already know the deal. Look at that. Also, I didn't get any ranch because their ranch, they just had it sitting out. I like the cold ranch down the hatch. You know what makes it taste a lot better? That's a dollar fifty. Mmm. You go to places like uh, Cumberland Farms where they sell you like a dollar, um, $2 slice of pizza. You ain't getting this, fam. Mm. It's a good slice of pizza. Again, what takes it up a notch is that it's only a dollar fifty a slice. And I think from, I wish I would have kept a little thing. I think you can get a whole pizza for like 10, 11 bucks. 
but like big slices like this. Mm. Color me impressed. Get my six dollar sushi. My eight dollar lobster roll. I'm parked in a, uh, I think it's a Bank of America parking lot. I'm next to a freaking Olive Garden over here. Got a little Bank of America kiosk. Next, next to a Mickey D's. I will say, anybody that's ever driven, you know what traffic in there reminds me of? This is where my mind goes everywhere, guys. And this is only for people that go to market basket all the time. I don't know how such an organized, such an organized uh, supermarket feels disorganized. <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe the aisles are too small. There was real no system for the food. It was basically wild, wild west. They had a ticket system, but the guy wasn't like punching it. He was just going, next. And you had like eight people looking at each other like, well, who's going to go first? So what I was going to do, if you guys saw in the intro, I was going to get the, it was like $2.99 for a cheeseburger and fries. That's better than Senor Ronald McDonald over here. Ronald wants to tax uh, freaking um, restaurant prices. All right, here we go. Also, what I was trying to say earlier is anybody that's driven in New York or driven in Boston or freaking Southside Providence, it's like no laws. It's a freaking free-for-all, man. Everybody's doing whatever the heck they want in there. But I will say the aisles, they're clean. They're organized. They have more aisles than God. Than heaven. They had a sushi guy there making the sushi. I should have asked for more spicy mayonnaise though. That's my bad. So we're gonna do it old school here. We're gonna put a little bit on each one. Not too much. There you go. And then we're gonna put some of the ginger on some of the slices. A little mix, just a little bit, just enough to uh, open up the nostrils down the hatch. Mmm. I'm telling you, fam, I think I actually want to eat my way through Market Basket's menu. I'm going to have to come at a time when it's not complete. When it's complete. They, the other day when I was at Home Depot, the one in Warwick, um, for people not from Rhode Island, <laughs> it's another city. Um, they just opened a new Market Basket over there. When I tell you guys, every single parking space that was made for Market Basket was completely full. No exaggeration. Every single parking spot was taken. All right. Here we go. What do they call this? Finger rolls. So I'm get you guys a little. Why is it so bright? Dang. There we go. We're going to clean the palette here. Guys, I keep forgetting to say this. Like, comment, share, subscribe. We're on the road, baby. 
5,400 subbies. Let's go! I don't know how to get this freaking contrast. Look at that. It goes all the way in. I swear to God, fam, I thought it was going to be one of those things where it was just the top of it and they made they made it look good. Yeah, it was real lobster. Mmm. What a great, I just thought of it in my head. You guys ever want to do, you want to impress your significant other, you go to Market Basket. You get four different kinds of slices of pizza, right? Do a little smorgy. And then you get a couple of these for a fraction of the cost. You do a little picnic by a by uh in a beautiful park or by the water you're done you're good to go eight bucks whole pile was ten you're looking at a twenty dollar picnic baby you go to the liquor store you pick some, uh, pick up some cheap wine that has high alcohol. Volume. <laughs> What's your cheapest, most potent wine? They'll throw you. One thing that I've learned is that alcohol it always goes through like cycles of sales. Just see what's on sale. I think it was Sally. Sally, were you the one that told me about Market Basket? I think it was. I found the hatch. Oh, guys. <laughs> I want to give you a quick update on uh, the lottery. So anyone that didn't watch the uh, yesterday's video. I won 100. Oh, I didn't win 100 bucks. I'm sorry. I found 100 bucks. I'm a silly man. I consider found money, play money. And went to a gas station, bought 100 lottery tickets, right? Not the kind that you scratch off, but like for the lottery. In Rhode Island, they have a thing called wild money. Anyways, long story short, if you want advice on how to make $100 shrink to $23, I'm your man. Cause I was I was uh, checking my my tickets online. Sorry, not a winner. Sorry, not a winner. You're a winner. I was. Oh my god, yes, one dollar. You're a winner. Oh my god, yes, one dollar. You're a winner. Ten bucks. I was like, there we go, baby. Let's break even. The next one was five bucks, and then I think like a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. So, uh, long story short, I have, uh, let's do one of these. God, guys, the logistics on filming in a, in a tiny little Subaru always fascinate me. Here we go. There we go. All right, here we go. Not bad. Got a nice little flop. My man didn't really cut it. All right, I want this one. But got some nice crust, look at that. Got some nice, got some nice flop. You just gotta do the middle boom, down the hatch. Good old fashioned pie, man. You're not going to find anywhere else. 
Unless you go to New York. You know those New York places that sell them for a dollar? All right, fam, I'm gonna try to power through this. Hold this up. Mmm. So what we're gonna end up doing, by the way, is we're gonna reinvest those $23. We're gonna go back to the lottery and be like, I want 23 tickets. What a crazy story that would be. That'd be a fun story. I lost 100, but I won 23. Lost the 23. I won 18. And then, <laughs> and then it gets down to one and be like, and then I rebought the $1 and then one. This is how my mind works, guys. I'm such a dreamer. Tell the hatch. Hmm. This is solid, man. I'm telling you, this is my spot now. I'm gonna have to come at like right before they close though. I can only imagine how jam packed they get for lunch with all their prepared food section. There's probably like 200 people that work in this plaza. And I bet you they all eat here for lunch. But, all right, fam. If you live near Market Basket and you haven't checked it out, go, but prepare yourself. It's a little chaotic. It's not for shy people. You're definitely going to have to, like, you're trying to get through somewhere, you have to. Get in there. Mm. I also bought, they had lasagna with meatballs for like, I put it in the Trader Joe's bag, like six, seven bucks. Having that for lunch tomorrow. All right, fam, I'll let you go. Like Lou, thank you for letting us about Mark and Basco. Nothing real much to say, guys. Let me know your experience. I haven't tried the hot plate area because it was a disaster. But it looks like they had fried chicken. It, it just looks like... They were making these huge subs, right? This lady was making an Italian. She was putting more lettuce and, and meat and, and tomato than God. I was like, oh my God, I have sub envy right now. But, excuse me. I want to eat that too, guys. So, if you see, <laughs> if you see Market Basket videos randomly popping up everywhere. Camilla was supposed to do this video with me today. Uh, and then something happened at her house. So I'm sure she's going to want to come and do it again uh, with me. So, uh, but I'll leave you guys on that. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. We are on the way to 5,400, which is just a sniff away from 55. And then we're on to 6,000, baby. Crazy. Still in the mix at 6,000. Freaking love it. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Be well, eat well, and take care of each other. Ciao.